Hi there, Pisces. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at August 28th through September 3. This week, it really is just a quiet week where we can pick up the pieces of last week, which of course was that total solar eclipse in Leo, which was a stressful time. Any astrologer will tell you that it hit your second house, sorry, your sixth house of hard work, health, and well being. And speaking of that, this is a week when really working on you and your lifestyle and how you live your lifestyle, whether or not you're drinking too much, smoking cigarettes, whether or not you are, you know, burning the candle at both ends, all of those things come into your way of thinking this week. And it's really important, I think, especially when being a Pisces. Pisces are the last sign of the zodiac and it's often said that you pick up psychically you know, on each and every sign that's come before you. And of course, you're one fish swimming upstream, one fish swimming downstream. You're constantly battling a current to get back upstream or downstream. It depends. It doesn't necessarily mean that the downstream is bad. It's just a matter of you being balanced. Like, like Libra, you have a lot in common. People look at you and often use you as a shoulder to cry on or a comfort zone. And sometimes you need someone to cry, uh, for a shoulder to cry on. You and, and Librans have that in common in that people are always looking towards you as being a savior of some kind. Well, you can't be everything to everybody. What you do have to be, however, is your own best friend and the person that you can turn to and trust and learn from. So this weekend, Pisces, there are three Mercury-Mars mergers between June and September. This weekend's is the only one where Mercury is retrograde. This added twist makes Sunday a great day to start a makeover or a renovation, put yourself into rehab, or make any other kind of changes that alters a previous situation. In other words, with all this planetary activity in Leo, your sixth house of work, service to others, health and well-being. That's what you should be doing, looking after number one, and that's you. Have a great week, great speaking to you. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out my various writings online, and I'll speak to you and give you your September outlook next week.